In this video, I want to show you how to replace your idle air control valve, which looks like this. It helps your truck idle, and it's located all the way there behind the throttle body. You can see it right over there. So let's get to it. It's doable without removing the throttle body. It's just going to be tight. So that's how I'm going to show you, because otherwise you're going to have to buy new gaskets for your throttle body. And if you can avoid it, why do it? I have my air ratchet on the top bolt. I'm using an eight millimeter socket. Oh, actually I can reach it. There it is. That's the top bolt. Let's get to the bottom one, which is actually going to be a little bit easier to reach because you can also see it. Okay. So at this point, we just have to unplug it. And if you look closely, right there is the electrical connector in the back. Okay, there it is. There's your IAC valve. Now you want to remove the old gasket that's there. And inspect the area. Make sure it's nice and clean. Mine is. If it's not, if yours is corroded or whatever, then just use a razor blade and go ahead and scrape it off. I'm just going to go ahead and use a, uh, a rag with some brake parts cleaner. You can see in my mirror there, that's what the surface looks like. I'm just going to degrease that surface. There it is right there, completely degreased. So let's get the new gasket in there. At this point, we want to put in the new gasket and the new IAC valve. The problem is going to be this gasket is just going to want to keep falling off. So it'll be a little bit tricky. And also at the same time, we have to plug in the IAC before it actually gets bolted on, otherwise we can't reach it. So I'm going to pull this mirror out of here. And what I'm going to do is plug in the IAC first and then just let it sit there, then put the gasket on and then I'll bolt it all up. So I'm holding the connector with one hand and then I'm going to try and slowly bring the IAC over, connect it. It clicked, perfect. I'm holding the IAC with my other hand over the throttle body and then I'm going to bring in the gasket. Try not to break it because it is a paper gasket. It's pretty fragile. Try to line it up the best you can. I think that's pretty lined up. So I'm going to start in the bottom bolt. Okay, with this bottom bolt started, the uh, gasket fell to the side here. So I'm going to put it back up, hold it in place, try to start the top bolt. Okay, top bolt is started. So all we have to do now is just tighten these up. Now turn on the engine, make sure it runs smoothly, has no check engine light, and idles properly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.